You probably clicked on this video because you have a paddle, something like this. This is a random paddle from Amazon. It came in a set of four, it had some balls, some really crappy balls, but it had four paddles. And that's what I needed when I started playing pickleball to put a game together, to play with my friends. I needed four. Even, I mean, getting four paddles is pretty expensive no matter what, but so getting a set like this was great when I was first starting out. Um, I actually think this was, was a really solid set. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this. Um, I, I still recommend it. Like, if you need four paddles, you sort of have to go this route when you're starting out. However, eventually, I sort of grew out of this paddle. I'm like, when I first started playing pickleball, I couldn't even hit the ball. Um, but eventually, I played enough where I was trying to level up, and you know, I hit a wall with this. And that's when I started sort of looking into paddles and what they could do. Um, but there's a problem. I'm cheap, uh, and paddles aren't. And so. One paddle that kept coming up in all my research was the x pack and that's probably why you've clicked this video. You want to know about the x pack um, I don't know what I titled this. Maybe uh, is this still relevant? Is this still a good deal? And while it's getting uh, more competitive with other paddles, there are companies all the time coming out with $100, around $100 paddles that are giving the x pack a run for its money. I can still really wholeheartedly recommend this paddle. This is great for if you're wanting to start pickleball and like uh, hit the road running and have a really solid paddle, or if you're looking to level up from sort of one of those cheaper paddles. The X Pack is really, really, really a good paddle. Um, let me go over the specs real quick. They call this a wide body shape. It's definitely an elongated paddle. It's 7.4 inches wide, 16.5 inches long with a 5.5 inch handle so it's perfect for if you're wanting to add two-handed backhands to your game and then the grip circumference is 4.35 inches so it's a bit wider but that's perfect for me i usually like to build my grips up to about 4.5 inches and then it says that the actual paddle is 0.75 inches in sort of depth which i think is just the normal 16 millimeter core and then it says they usually come in about eight ounces. And this is what really separates it is it has a carbon fiber surface. So this face right here, it's carbon fiber. And you might see it listed as graphite. To my knowledge, those terms are interchangeable in the pickleball world, but it's this surface combined with the 16 millimeter core, sort of this being a little beefier than those cheapo paddles that really make it a control paddle. And that's what I think is the most fun thing to start learning the control game sort of early on in pickleball because if you go to open play, if you're doing the, the banging game, uh, you're gonna find better bangers uh, and you might only get a couple of hits in a game. And I started playing pickleball to play pickleball. And so I try to, especially when I was starting out looking for games, where we got to the kitchen, did the ping pong stuff, did dinking, and the x pack is perfect for that. It has a ton of control. Um, you can, it helps you place your shots, like really aiming where you want the ball to go and placing it there. And then it has the carbon fiber, the raw carbon fiber face that this texture that sort of allows you to bring spin into the game. And to really level up your pickleball, you've got to learn that. Another thing that I really like about the X-Pack is it is durable. I dropped mine pretty early on, uh, damaged the edge guard. Um, that's why you see this tape. This is, a lot of people use sort of electrical tape um, for their, um, to protect their edge guard. This is actually tape for hockey sticks. I just like the way it looks and it sort of differentiates it when you're putting your paddle in a rack. Um, I'll leave a link in case anyone's interested in that, but it's basically cloth tape, sort of like gaff tape. It's a bit heavier than electrical tape, I believe, but the X-Pack really, it can benefit from that extra weight. I wouldn't worry about it. Now, as far as the cons, well, the cons are it's harder to make that paddle choice these days because there are other paddles coming into the scene around that $100 point that are giving the X-Pack a run for its money. Um, some of them have foam injected into the edges, so that allows you to have more power. Um, I don't think you can really get a thermoform paddle at this price point, but really I still think the fact that this doesn't have all that power built into it and 
It forces you to learn the mechanics, how to get your deep drives, how to get your deep serves and returns. I think that's a benefit actually when you're starting to learn pickleball. And so that's still why I think it's a good recommendation. And then another really good thing about the x pack is it's on Amazon. That's where you buy it. Um, and I don't know, like that Bezos guarantee that, you know, if you get a paddle and it's messed up, you can send it back. You have that 30 days. And that is something a lot of the newer paddle companies can't really offer. Um, a lot of them, you have to pay for the return shipping and, you know, the return can be a hassle. And so that I think is one of the big pros of the x pack You've got peace of mind um, on that front. One thing to be aware, to be aware of is though, this thing sells out a lot. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this paddle. It's going to be listed probably like elongated, but there's another x pack paddle in sort of their more advanced uh, line uh, that is different. Um, and when this is out of stock, Amazon will automatically direct you to that one. And so just be aware of that. Uh, when you click the link, you want to make sure you see the x pack with the black letters on the black face. The one with white letters is a different paddle. That's a paddle I hope to also write a review on, but that is not this paddle. Those are like my thoughts on the x pack. Um, I really still do recommend it. Um, and yeah, this is, I'm new to the YouTube channel stuff. Um, I'm going to leave links in the description. I also have promo codes for some other paddles that I'm hoping to review. Um, all of those will sort of um, give me kickbacks and help sort of support this channel and support my paddle addiction. Um, but I really want to thank you for watching and go out there and pickle and just remember it's about having fun. So thanks for watching. See you next time.